uh, in this episode, uh, we'll uh, have a special uh, discussion with a young man. Uh, he is the uh, son of the uh, late uh, Roger Posadas, our national uh, uh, scientist, uh, uh, in, in the sense that uh, he is our, one of our um, outstanding uh, uh, physicists uh, and educator. Uh, but the family is moving on to the United States very soon, and I wanted to uh, uh, follow through uh, our continuing discussions uh, with uh, uh, the late uh, Dr. Posadas. Uh, and I thought that it would be as uh, meaningful to discuss with a son who has exhibited a lot of uh, talent and uh, potentials. Uh, and uh, several ideas that he has and uh, advocacies. Uh, he's still in, uh, what do we call it, K-12, uh, the high school, is it co correct? Senior, Senior high, high school. school. Senior high school. And, uh, of course, this is none other than uh, uh, Ethan, uh, do, do I call you Ethan? Uh, uh, what what do your friends call you? Huh? Gregor, uh, Gregor, yeah. Gregor here. Uh, and we were discussing several ideas of his. And... Um, yeah, so how has it been uh, since your father uh, uh, passed away? Well, yeah, the, the, it's relatively been difficult at the start. Mm -hmm. But eventually as time goes on, uh, mm -hmm. but, um, you basically have to be more independent mm -hmm. uh, with, well, in any family mm -hmm. with the loss of a father figure. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to grow by yourself. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what do you remember of your dad? <laughs> well, one of my earliest memories of my dad was when I was uh, when I was young, and he was teaching at his masteral class, and I told my mother na magus ko na umuwi. I was around three or four at the time. Three or four years old lang, oh, sige. So my mom said, uh, mm. "Go tell your father that mm. you want to go home na." Mm. So I went to his classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, once I opened the door, I saw a room with. 20 or so students staring mm -hmm. back at me. Mm -hmm. So to my surprise, uh, he was still teaching. Mm -hmm. I thought he was done. So my father, he told me, um, come sit at my table mm -hmm. while you wait. So I was there in front of the class. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of students were saying, oh, you're so cute. Uh, mm -hmm. was a three-year-old was in a masteral class. Mm -hmm. And I whispered to my father, pa, I want to go home now. Mm -hmm. And he said, I, had, I have to finish this class, mm -hmm. but I'll be done soon. Mm -hmm. So I was just there, and I guess that was... Uh, my experience as a three-year-old in a master L class. Uh -huh. Okay, so good memory. Um, and uh, so I understand uh, your family is moving on to the United States. Uh, uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, what What are your uh, anticipations? What What do you feel? You have anxieties, expectations? Uh, well, if you're going to base it on the news, my expectations uh, mm. as an immigrant, mm. um, well, I guess it wouldn't exactly be easy mm. uh, as opposed to just simply moving provinces in the mm, Philippines. Mm. Uh, this is a whole nother level because mm. you're going to another country. Mm. But, well, I am I guess I'm capable of speaking mm. in their language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm a bit aware of their culture too. Mm. So I'm not exactly that anxious. For yeah, that you're not going to have much pro uh, of a problem because you speak this language there. Mm. No? Uh, and and dito naman tayo sa Pilipinas, yung kultura natin, mm. eh, we're very familiar with things American. Uh, yeah, you have some ideas, uh, and uh, I don't know, would you call them advocacies? Uh, let's say you did a paper on uh, the traffic uh, oh. uh, solutions to the traffic crisis in the Philippines. Uh, you, uh, you, you told me about this uh, uh, new approach to measuring the speed of gra the gravity, what, what do you mm -hmm. call it, velocity? Uh, acceleration due to gravity. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so you got some of your the physics of your dad, no? Mm. And uh, then, of course, uh, you have some ideas on education. Yes. Uh, well, this, uh, this, this um, uh, gush of uh, ideas, uh, you think it's uh, from your discussions with your dad? Uh, or? Oh, well, yeah, uh, actually. Uh, um, the idea for a traffic thesis was mm. proposed, to be my, uh, proposed to me by my father. Mm. Um, the physics experiment was, well, I guess in a way, um, in our old home, You'd see his library and I'd mm. see all these physics books. And I got thinking, well, what kind of experiments mm. did these physicists go through just mm. to get these, mm. all these numbers and mm. stuff? 
Mm. So, um, well, on the topic of traffic, mm. uh, my father, he really dislikes the traffic in the Philippines. Mm. So, he told me na, uh, not pag ka ng thesis, dapat tungkol sa traffic. Mm. So, I, I did one. Uh, I surveyed uh, drivers, uh, did studies on international traffic. Mm. Mm. And, well, that's how my first thesis mm. came into physicality. Mm. Um, the next one, actually, was about foreign students in mm. our school. Mm. Uh, I, it was in my 11th grade, and I interviewed all these foreign students and what difficulties they went through. Um, mostly, they had difficulty with the Filipino subject, mm. uh, which was expected. And for my current thesis, which I'm still um, um, going with, mm. um, well, it's still underway because we still have to develop the mechanism mm. uh, to which the experiment will be done. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, what's the importance of uh, acc you know, acceleration rate of gravity? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, it's because we simply just told uh, that acceleration due to gravity on Earth is 9.8. So no one really asks. Meters asked per? Second squared. Uh, squared, okay. So, no one really asks, how did we get this number? We just uh -huh. accept it. Uh -huh. So I, I propose, why don't we make an experiment mm. to simply demonstrate how this is done? And there are a lot of experiments that involve a lot of um, expensive technology. Mm. And mm. I said, well, maybe we can make one that's cheaper. Mm. So this is what our main idea is, the final product of which our thesis wants to attain. Will uh, you be able to finish it? You're leaving in January. Yeah, I will be able to finish uh. it. Actually, uh, we're in the second chapter mm. right now. So I expect it to be finished around... December, early December. Well, uh, your mother tells me you, you were very interested in Japanese. Uh, uh, what brought you to that uh, interest? Oh, uh, well, for one thing, uh, I used to watch a lot of anime, uh -huh, uh, okay. Japanese animation. Mm. So that got me a bit interested. But mm. I never really um, saw anime as an inspiration. Rather, it was the very culture of Japan. Uh -huh. What about Russian? Your mother has a Russian uh, lineage. Uh, oh, well, no, ne never got to be interested in it? I never really got... For mm. one thing, the Cyrillic uh, writing system is very difficult to mm. comprehend. Mm. The other is the pronunciation. It's also hard. Mm. Uh, simple words like das vidanya are easy. Mm. Mm. But uh, simply saying the names of other Russian citizens mm. are is mm. uh, very Herculean task. Oh, okay, yeah. So... Well, uh, you're, uh, you're an interesting personality on, on your own, uh, but of course people will always associate you with your, your dad. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, your dad uh, is known for his uh, physics, uh, uh, but you chose uh, civil engineering. Are, aren't you going into the field that your dad uh, was uh, in? I, I know civil engineering would provide a more, uh, uh, a clearer prospect for livelihood. I, uh, physics, uh, maybe it's so esoteric to mm. a lot of people. But what's your, what's what's what are the factors in your development uh, intellectually? Oh well, see, uh, that's the thing. Uh, mm. Even my father himself said, mm. uh, "Don't take a career in physics because there's <laughs> yeah. no money here." There's no money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. another thing is uh, that the culture in the Philippines, no, uh, no. they expect you. For example, your father is a doctor. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. expect you to follow in his footsteps. Mm. I, I don't want to follow in mm. that. Mm. Uh, so I wanted to become, I guess, leave my own legacy mm. in my own right, mm. rather than just simply be a physicist just for the sake of my father. Mm. I wanted to pursue something of my own interest, which is building mm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I want to go into civil engineering. Mm -hmm. And he fully supported this mm -hmm. idea. Okay. Well, you're now, uh, you're, you're now on your last year of uh, high, high, school. Sc high school. So uh, the, the last year, senior high school is the last year. So yes. you'll be moving on uh, to college. And so you'll probably be doing your college already in the United States. Huh? Uh, that's the most likely. Uh, and uh, you have any uh, plans which uh, university to go to there? Well, I mostly wanted to go into MIT mm, mm. or a university near New York mm. as it would be more practical. But I also wanted to take into account the Ivy Leagues. So, mm. um, well, anything that could help push my career for engineering. Mm, mm. Well, uh, I've been reading that uh, Tsinghua University 
yeah. is already uh, ahead of mm. MIT yeah. uh, in um, engineering and science mm. uh, reputation. Uh, uh, you, you have any reaction to that? Well, I would have applied uh, for a scholarship mm. in, well, in any of the Asian universities. Have you tried? Did you try Tsinghua? Uh, not actually. Yeah, maybe I can help you try. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Uh, I would appreciate that. That would be interesting. Oh. But see, the problem with um, applying for a scholarship mm. in any Asian mm. university, for example, um, Osaka University, um, you'd have to spend one or two years studying the language itself. The, the language, itself. yeah, of course. Yeah. So, well, you already know a bit of Japanese already. So. Yeah, but if I had to apply to Tsinghua, I'd have uh, to. They have, they have, uh, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so let's go to that original uh, subject matter that uh, we were discussing, education. Uh, you were comparing education in Finland. You yes. seem to admire it uh, compared to even the United States or even other Asian uh, educational system. Let, explain a bit of that. Well, in Finland, their education system is more student-centered mm -hmm. rather than teacher-centered. So what this means is that, um, I'll give you a scenario. Um, even the architects mm. for the schools in Finland, they inquired the students on what they wanted to see on the playgrounds. Mm. Um, in Finland, they have no homework. When interviewed in a documentary, the Finnish mm. students, um, they were asked, how many minutes of homework did you have last mm. night? Mm. Most of them said 10 minutes of homework, 5 minutes of homework, and some didn't even do their homework at all. Because it's not compulsory. And the only compulsory test you have in Finland is when you're at the age of 16, so that's around your fourth year of high school. And the best thing about Finland is that since their socialist ideals um, have to be aligned with their educational system, the rich children have to go to the same school with the poor children. Yeah. So they're basically in this same school. So the rich families have to think, um, well, we can't put you into a better school. We can't put you into a school of high class. So why don't we make this school high class? Yeah, yeah. So all the schools in Finland are equal. Yeah. As opposed to the Philippines, when we have this idea that the public schools are bad, the private schools are better, and we're basically shopping for schools. Mm. In Finland, no. You go to a certain region in Finland, one school there is the same as another in yeah. another region. So all the schools are equal. Everybody has to go to the same school. Everybody has the same curriculum. And that's the best thing because... Um, all, the, all the families, everybody has to invest in these schools. Mm. So in Finland, the best investment is in education. Mm. Well, uh, we've run out of time and uh, I think we got to know you a lot better now, uh, Greg. Mm. And um, uh, I'll interview your entire family before you, <laughs> you all go uh, off to, uh, mm. to the United States. Uh, so we will have uh, a complete uh, album of your family, from mm. your dad to uh, you and your mother and your younger sister. Mm. So thank you very much, uh, Greg, and I uh, uh, hope you have a smooth time uh, from now until you fly off to uh, your new home in the United States. Mm. Thank you very much.